I'm be, I'm be, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be, I'm be. Hi, my name is Brian Wong. I'm the founder and CEO of Keep. Uh, Keep is a mobile rewards network. Essentially, what we do is we've been able to identify in the moments of achievement uh, in these games that people are already playing, and this is in mobile, uh, that you could become uh, rewarded uh, by a brand. So imagine leveling up in Angry Birds and getting a free latte from Starbucks. And so the concept was to sort of create a reciprocal relationship between a brand and a consumer in a behavior that they were already uh, engaging in. You know, you're already playing games and there's people around you that already play games. If we can somehow be a part of these moments, uh, there could be something really powerful here. I actually uh, started the company from not so glamorous uh, uh, beginnings. I, I was laid off from my job at, at Dig, uh, which was a social news website, and uh, I decided to go traveling. I decided to take some time off. I remember being on a long haul flight from San Francisco to Asia, and uh, I noticed everybody around me were playing games on their phones and their devices and their tablets and whatnot. And I, I just it hit me that there it was a massively growing. Uh, exponentially growing phenomena of mobile gaming and being able to leverage and, and sort of uh, harness these eyeballs in some form or another in a way that I think was valuable to people uh, really got me excited so uh, sort of rather than trying to be a central uh, dis sort of a, a destination we wanted to be a network that people could uh, happen upon and be able to be surprised with these rewards and sort of uh, you know have that again that reciprocal feeling from actually getting something from from uh, from uh, something that they're doing already, and so that that really became the, the premise to keep, and we've continued to grow it uh, to this day. So the name Keep actually came from a play on words of the word keep, and uh, we realized that the two eyes, uh, because of the we, people would know how to pronounce it, but like 40% of people actually do know how to pronounce it. Um, anyways, we 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 wanted it to be a, a short, catchy name, but also. Uh, usable in, in puns and phrases and stuff because I like that stuff and so we have like keep them keep it real keep them playing keep it ha keep them happy uh, it's a keeper keep it up uh, keep going yada 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 so we, we really like the name so keep encompasses sort of uh, as a network three different value propositions but they all sort of come together in this this rewards value proposition so you have on the uh, developer side, so game developers, you have this uh, ability for, we created this SDK, which is a piece of code that essentially they could integrate into their games and, and apps. And uh, by, and identifying these moments of achievement, essentially, where if someone, you know, levels up or get a top, gets a top score or finishes a run or posts a photo or whatever it is, these triggers could potentially bring in these rewards. And what that actually does is it, A, helps develop monetize, but secondly, helps them retain, create this loyalty benefit uh, without actually having to pay Pay for anything. It's actually that they're getting paid, and so that's the benefit of the developer side. On the uh, brand side, they actually are able to come in and be able to engage with people uh, that have been normally very difficult to find in these mobile settings. About mobile has historically been a very unique advertising sort of medium because you're much more intimately uh, engaging with it, but you don't want to get interrupted. And so we wanted to find a way to be a part of an existing pattern of behavior and to do something really cool with it. And so the, the benefit for a brand is really to, to be there when someone's happy and to be able to tie that, that, that happiness with this reward that they've just been able to provide. And then on the user side, of course, the benefit is you're actually getting something that's a surprise and a delight and, and really an additive experience to something that you've decided to do already. I'm not trying to make you do something brand new. I'm saying you've already decided to play this game. Let's make something out of it and create a really cool reciprocal relationship between you and the brand. You can create your own luck. I call it generating serendipity. I have always believed in this, which is if you find the right environment to be in, um, and you are able to surround yourself with people who are always winning and also people who have not won and to understand why they didn't win uh, You basically have the ability to generate uh, Luck and you know Einstein once said, you know, you can't judge a fish by how well it climbs a tree You find an environment where you do extremely well in and leverage that superpower that you have You know, that thing that everybody around you seems to always say, you know, Jim's really good at this or you know, Sally's really good at this like Take that that one thing and really just blow it out of proportion because there's there's always going to be that thing that has brought you to where you are today and you can use that to create your own luck and that the people who are lucky keep on getting luckier because of the way that they're able to surround themselves with people who care about what they want to accomplish 
and that that level of law of attraction actually ends up resulting in results that will create immense value for you.